up guys in this video I'm going to show you how to find a parasitic draw on a modern car using just a multimeter now the problem with a modern car is that you can't just hook up a multimeter and start pulling out fuses because you will start losing stuff like um, radio codes codes for different modules on the car and you'll probably have to take it to a main dealer to get it sorted out again and it'll cost a fortune but there is a way around the problem which you can do it won't tell you exactly what's at fault but it'll tell you where to look for the fault so let's get started first thing we've got to do is open all the doors but have them so it shows up as closed and locked and the boot as well because otherwise once you open the door modules will turn on um, and you won't get a true reading of how much volts or amps the car is using while it's completely switched off then once you've done that we need to leave the car for about 15 20 minutes just so all the systems have shut down now on this car this is in 2007 audi a8 and i have looked online and it did say about 15 20 minutes all the systems will have completely shut down so it should be using no power so i'll check that once it's all sorted and then i'll take you through what to do in order to find where the draw is coming from i will add the first thing that you should do is check the battery to make sure that the battery is not completely knackered now the battery can show it is fully charged but it won't put out the power in order to turn the engine over and start it and you do that with a battery a battery load tester and i was going to try and get one for this video however it turns out i can't just walk into a shop and buy one they have to be ordered in and i didn't have time so yesterday I went and got one done now a lot of places you can get one of these done for free and this was free this one tells me a little bit more than the battery load tester that I was gonna get for instance on this one it tells you the battery test a test on a starter motor and a test on the alternator now as you can see from this So the battery volts was low that's because we had to jump start it yesterday so it hadn't completely fully charged up so, but the battery is in good condition it's 80 percent healthy that could be because it was low voltage but that could just be because it's an old battery now even though it's working at 80 percent it is still fine so nothing wrong with this battery starter test now it did say the starter is in need of repair it said it was using far too much um volts or amps whatever it's measured in to start up so that does need repairing and the alternator test that's in good compare good repair it's charging the battery properly so that's the first thing to do is to get a battery load test because it might just be that your battery is old and you need a new one now like i said this battery is fine so now the next thing to do is find out where this parasitic draw is coming from because after a day or so you can't start this car so like i said first thing get all the doors open get it so it shows up in the car as the shut that includes the boot because in this there's a fuse box in the boot and i think that's where the problem is i've got a hunch since my dad said that there's a problem with the boot latch the automatic um, boot close he said there's a problem with that so i've got a funny feeling that that is where the drain's coming from if it's not that this car also has a fault with the front driver's side um automatic suspension no it's just it's not the actual suspension that's at fault it's just the sensor so that possibly could be one reason but we're going to check anyway and i'm going to show you how to check so the first thing to do is to have a check to see if there's any buttons around the frame of the car. Because on some older cars there will be a button which when you press it in the interior light will go off. And that basically lets the car know that the door's open. However on a lot of cars it is just the latch. So if you... There we go. As you can see this light's now gone off. So it thinks that this door is shut, which is what you want. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side and the boot. So 
hopefully now that is everything that needs to be done. One thing to remember, because this door latch is locked and the other one and the boot is not to slam them closed because they won't close. All you have to do is push it over gently and just leave it like that. You can put a bit of tape over just so you know that there's something going on with this door and not to shut it. And the same thing with the boot as well. And one other, and one other thing to remember is these keys communicate with the car. So you want to get it as far away from the car as you can. Because if you've got it in your pocket when you're inside, modules will be waking up and it will be putting load on the battery that you don't want. Right guys, so now the car has gone completely to sleep. Everything that will turn off has turned off. If your voltmeter will go to millivolts, then you set it to millivolts. I've got this set to as low as I can. So this will still read pretty low. And then if you look on the fuses at the back there, and there, there's two little metal pins. You can stick your probe bits in there and you can get a reading whether there's any current passing through this fuse. So there we go, hopefully you can see that screen. When you touch the pins together, or when you touch the probe to the pins I should say, you'll get a reading. And it takes a couple of seconds to drop down to north. And as you can see, on that one, there is no current whatsoever. And all you do is you keep running through all of these fuses until you come to one which constantly has a current running through it. As you can see, that one's got a current running through it. So that's how much this is using. Now, it doesn't take too long to do this. I've done the whole car and it took me less than 10 minutes. Now, I've only found this one fuse that has a current running through it. And then if you go to your owner's manual, and have a look what it says, it's 37, and it's a cigarette lighter in the rear, which is back there. And me being soft and not thinking I'd need to, I never opened the back doors. So now if we open these back doors, the car's then going to turn itself on and we're not going to be able to do any more tests. But fortunately, that is the only one that I can find. So with a bit of luck, I should be able to pull this fuse out and it won't have any effect on the car whatsoever. It should hopefully stop it from dying all the time. Now I know my dad doesn't use that socket in the back, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But there's definitely a fault with it. But yeah, that's all you have to do. To, instead of disconnecting the battery. So that is essentially how you find a parasitic drawer on a new car with a multimeter. And without pulling any of the fuses out. So you don't disrupt any of the systems or nothing. The only problem with this is that it won't tell you what's at fault necessarily, just what system it's on. So now you know it's a cigarette lighter. Now I know there's nothing plugged into it, so there's a fault there, but finding that fault is the tricky bit. But now you know where you're looking. So it makes things a bit easier, but it's also the beginning of a long process, which I'm not going to show in this video. So now the next thing to do is to basically get the car back to normal again. So you have to remember before you shut any of the doors to go round. open them and then you can shut it but if you don't do that you're just going to damage the locking mechanism just have to remember to do it on both doors and finally the boot because that's all we've done Now over on this side, I am actually going to take out this fuse. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something new. But as I did say, it is only the beginning of a long process to try and find out what was actually wrong with the car in the first place. 
so well, thanks for watching this video catch you on the next one remember please like share and subscribe i've been chris dalton see you later and goodbye